वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सर बेसिकली दिस इज माई लास्ट डे इन द यूनिवर्सिटी अकोमोडेशन सो आई आई वॉज लिविंग इन यूनिवर्सिटी अकोमोडेशन आई एज अ स्टोन इन माई रूम टूर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई एम गन लिंक दैट वीडियो इन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन जस्ट सी दैट वीडियो गन नो विच अकोमोडेशन एंड हाउ हाउ एक्जैक्टली द अकोमोडेशन आर ओवर हेयर एंड द स्टूडेंट अकोमोडेशन सो आई गन स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो गिविंग अ यूनिवर्सिटी टूर वट आर द थिंग दैट आर नेसेसरी इन द यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दैट यू यू शूड नो Uh, when you are just entering in the university or when you are just staying uh, near the university so let's begin this is one of but this would be one of the greatest videos because my university which is grinnell university is the most beautiful university in all over the all over the land because it is accumulated at a particular place like a single like it, uh, usually universities are se se separated at different different ends so one would be on south land one would be on left uh, so one part of the university would be on west land so but my university is gathered gathered in a one in one place and that separates this university from every other university in all over the land let's begin this video this i'm standing in the middle of the university uh, i'm going to start this video with one of my favorite places come i'm going to show you this is the pond that i have in the university look at this beauty i spend Uh, around half an hour once a week every single every single week over here this is so pretty beautiful uh, you can, if you are coming to prunel or if you are like living uh, near the university you can come over here feed the ducks there are ducks there are rats there are so many animals in the pond there are fishes as well just feed them please feed them and then give them bread if you want uh, let's start with the, let's start with other other things i'm going to show you whole different uh, the different aspects of the universities and just just look at this look at this view Parts of universities as well because th that was a mid part. But this site is all the accommodations. So uh, major accommodation which which has undergrads and postgrads they are over there. My my accommodation also also over this side. This is the main side where university has libraries and university has quad. You are you are gonna know. I'm gonna just show you. but a pharmacy which is over that side uh if you have if you want any medications uh when you are done with the gp i'm going to show you where you can go for for the gp so you can collect your medicines from there this has the brunel uh, union campaign club so if you want to join any club from from brunel you can go and contact the, these societies and communities which every universities do have uh this is the sector on this side the opposite side which has libraries one of the biggest part i forgot to tell you is the this thing it has restaurant up uh, upside over there where there's lightnings and then it has uh, there's a pub inside this building which is for university students or the or the people who are coming from outside something like that so this is a good place you can hang around with your friends make new friends if you are coming to this university library is 24/7 available for students in the term times in the term timing so you are going to have a great time making your assignments and everything facility which is called as uh, cost cutter this is normal general store which we have so if you want anything like milk or bread or anything like that which 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 you go on a daily basis of course because it it's, it is in the university the price range would uh, would be little bit expensive but it would make sense when you are in rush or when you don't have the time to go uh, yeah, any any other place that's that thing and one because people love in this country to eat to drink and to have snacks and to have coffee all all the time this is a place where they have coffee and this is one of the it has cost and side of it and it is a big place as well you can you can come over here sit with your friends have some chats about the university university you're going to when you're going to pass the library and everything you're going to have this side would be a student center i'm going to show you in a moment and this side This is where this is the quad. You're gonna see every single place like uh, quad north is mentioned over here. Uh, quad south is 
somewhere along here. This is where most of the events in the universities are there. So we we had a movie night over here. We had uh, certain celebrations which are for the universities over here. We even had some uh, celebration for the Independence Day over here. So this is really great if you are coming to this university. You're gonna have most of the events in this place court where every other person is aligned. This is really beautiful. Just right in front of court, there is a whole big lecture center. It has computer labs over here. I had few lectures on the second floor. So if you're gonna have lectures, you're gonna uh, if you're gonna have offline lectures, you can have you're gonna have in this building, right in front of the court which I showed you. I'm going to show you the student center from outside. This is the main building, which is a student center, the main building that you're going to need in, in, the, in your entire education. Because if any further problem that you have, the first thing you're going to do is come to the student center. If you are coming to university accommodation, you're going to collect your keys from here inside. If there's so many students along the way, you're going to stand in the queue. And this is really, really, really helpful. I've come to this place, look at the building, the building is so beautiful. I've come to this place multiple times to have so many queries related to finances, related to uh, uh, tuition, uh, accommodation fees, tuition fees, or like any anything which I has like personally which I have faced in the university. They, these guys are going to really help you a lot and the, you know, the facilities that they provide are, is really good. Um, one of the, I told, you, I told you earlier, one of my, the university, Brunel University is really, really beautiful because of the first thing which is not scattered and second of all, it has greenery all over the place. Look at this view. Seen right in front of me, these are all accommodations for every single building. Apart from these buildings which are lecture centers and everything, these are accommodation for students which are include for undergrad and postgrad. So these are all occupied. There are two important places which where uh, which I need to show you. They are just uh, right away, like right next to each other. This one is medical center. So when you're gonna come to this country, you need to register yourself with GP, that's general practitioner. And that person, he or she is gonna take care of any medical issues that you're gonna have in the university. Uh, to register the, to register for the GP, you can go on university website or email university regarding this because if you have any medical conditions over here, you you have to have a GP. Well, with, without, with, without that person, you're not gonna have any prescriptions or any medications. So if you're in the university, this uh, would be your GP, uh, Brunel University would be your GP. You don't come, you don't, you don't have to come here physically. You can have an e-consultant online. Everything is online, so you can go over there and then book your consult consultant and have the prescriptions and everything online. Right, I told you earlier, right next to medical center is a distribution center. This is one of the important places that you have to keep in mind. So your parcels which are really huge or which, which has something that's really huge in size, they are all going to be accumulated in distribution center. If you are living on campus, they are going to be here. So you are going to receive an email from the university regarding regarding your parcel and then you, you can collect over here. That's the collection point. One of the best thing which I felt uh, in the university or over, over in this country was they have the parcel which are of the smaller size and the ones that you order from Amazon. Every single wear, these, they have these kind of things which are uh, Amazon lockers. So if you have any parcel from Amazon which is smaller in size and can fit in these lockers, you can collect, uh, collect from there. They are just going to be every place near the university. Even my accommodation has one. They are just not right next to my accommodation. So you don't have to go back and forth to distribution center, collect, collection, center uh, collection center if you are going to live uh, in the university campus. Uh, they are also outside university, university campus. You just need to make sure where are they. We came from that side, the, that building is a lecture center over there. When you walk past the lecture, lecture center, straight over there would be gym. University has a gym inside of it. Uh, come on, I'm going to show you. This is, this is a university, like this, this university is still going on right now. Uh, because it, it is not scattered, we the, this is the whole view, which uh, the, every single thing I'm showing to you, this is the river, one of the rivers, which is in the universities. The university is still going on right now and then that's the 
that's the end of the university or you can call it as a starting as well but i should because, because i showed you the middle part that would be the starting of the university i'm going to show you the gym which center which has gym and all the other facilities which i mentioned over here this has all the badminton courts and as well like i played like once or twice so this is really a, an important place if you want to play you can pay one pound an hour for the badminton rackets and you can enjoy with your friends over here uh, you can have the membership for the gym if you want uh, because uh, they because you're going to be coming new to the university they are going to give you some offers on the uh, membership so you can take that as well this is one of the important things that's again a park of the gym so where you can have all the activities that's mentioned over there that's really beautiful the main part The main part which I want to show you is this building. So, uh, for the ones who are coming new to this uh, new to this place in the university accommodation, you're gonna have a place because you have an address of the university. You're gonna have a place where you you, you will have all the important letters, either from bank or from the immigration officers or, or any other thing. Uh, they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be there where your university is gonna allot it. Mine is over there, and that at that place. Uh, you can ask university the day the day we, uh, in which we are going to enter the university just ask university for the gp registration uh, for the letter place where you're going to receive the letters right next to gym and all the sports center this is going to be the best building the main building for students who are taking uh, business degrees if you have any questions regarding internship or placement year or all the all the main the main uh, stuff regarding your courses and everything you can go over there in the business school there's a main entrance you can go uh, inside the entrance and then ask the people regarding the issues that you're facing they're going to help you uh, all your inquiries regarding the courses and tuition fees are handled over there and they're going to they are really helpful so that's that's one of the that's one of the beautiful building that's in the university of course business school that we started to look at the view this is where we started i showed you the right side right side of the campus now i'm going to show i'm going to show you the left side of the campus let's explore what exactly is in this place and this is what second most busiest place in all over the uh, uh, brunel and i'm going to show you why living on university campus is look at the main the bus stop is just nearby so if you if you want to go on the high street so basically a main area which is like every every area has a high street so mine because i live in uxbridge it has uxbridge, uxbridge high street so it's just two minute two minutes walk from my home my my hall to the bus stop and then you're gonna find every every single route that you want to go which is the best part which is just near to the places oh uh, where you where you where your hall is but mostly but, but mostly because uh, the transport facility is so good over here every single place that you're going to go would have at least 5 or 10 minutes maximum walk from the place where your home is to the bus stop because they have really good facility for the transport I told you the second most bus busiest and most happening part of the university this is that part this is where we go and yeah look at the look at the people they are playing playing td over there so this this is where i've won so many matches i'm not even uh, kidding literally that's the place uh it has uh, starbucks is over there in that building they have dance room and starbucks which is really helpful okay. if you want to go and have a sip of coffee over there and now the, the, this this side uh, this has a main building the concourse building this is the main building for the students who are living on campus if you have any issues regarding accommodations or if you have any issues regarding your room or anything anything like that you can go go to this uh, go to this reception talk to someone and they they're, they're going to help you with everything and then um but i, I literally want to tell you one thing there are people who says that university don't support international students with every other other single thing but in my case it really really helped me a lot i know i had some struggles in initially i'm going to tell that story some other day but because i had some struggles university was there for me and they kept international student as a priority that's the best part of about this university when i'm going to go from this side what uh this side there would be little and when you go go past by this side there would be little which i uh, i'm going to i already made a video i'm going to show you in next my videos and how how the best part you're going to go and shop like the trick that i use uh, to go shopping little because i i usually go 15 in, in 15 days 
uh, I told you earlier regarding the Amazon lockers, it is over there. So in any, if, uh, if I have any any parcels regarding uh, which I ordered from Amazon, they are going to come that side. Uh, I'm going to end this video over here. This is the whole university tour. I hope you loved Brunel University. If you are coming to this university, drop down in the comments. Let the others know or let's find find a flatmate, find a roommate, find, find your batchmate, anyone like you can find over there in the comments. Uh, enjoy your trip. Have a nice journey. I have seen so many students are moving outside of the campus, and now they, and more and more are coming inside of the campus, like new students, international students. So I hope you have an amazing journey the way I had in this uh, university. And do not forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then click on the like button if you loved my video. Let me know if you have any further things regarding the university or any further questions for me in the comments below. And then I, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Take care.